Can calcium, magnesium, and boron be used as a joint supplement? Would this be beneficial for conditions like knee osteoarthritis, hip arthritis, back arthritis, disc problems, meniscus injuries, and other cartilage problems? In this video today, I'm going to break down what calcium, magnesium, and boron do for your joints and how they're helpful for your body. Now, this video is not intended to go into the molecule and cellular function and all the, the pharmacology and chemistry type stuff. I'm going to keep it real simple for you here to give you a bird's eye perspective on how these are helpful for you. Calcium is good for your bone and muscle health. Calcium is especially important for your bone and muscle health. Our bones obviously have calcium in them. Everybody knows that, that's long been known. But what isn't as commonly known is that muscles need a certain amount of calcium in order to function properly as well. And you use calcium in other parts of your body, like in your teeth, their bone. Your heart really needs calcium as well. And all the nerves in your body use calcium in order to send their signals up and down the nerves. When it comes to your overall joint health, especially if you suffer from joint problems like osteoarthritis, making sure that you have good quality bones, good quality muscles, and the ability for your nerves to send signals up and down from your brain to your muscles and the rest of your body is not impeded in any way. So having enough calcium in your diet is extremely important. Another reason that calcium might be important for you is if you've taken any sort of steroid drugs given to you by a doctor, like for inflammation and pain specifically, or if, you, or if you've had steroids injected into your body like a cortisone injection, then those steroids break down connective tissue, which bone is made of connective tissue, and having enough calcium in your body can help to combat the effects of steroids on your body. Now, magnesium is also important for joint health because it helps out with muscle and nerve function. And we know that muscles greatly influence the forces going through joints and the nerves are what influence the muscles. So it's a chain of body tissues, nerves, muscles, bones, cartilage, joints that are affected by calcium and magnesium. We also know that magnesium helps control blood sugar, blood pressure. It even can regulate your mood and it's important for supporting your immune system. And I like this formulation specifically because it includes boron, and boron is especially helpful in controlling how calcium and magnesium are used in the body. Now, boron has also been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects, especially when it comes to joint arthritis. Boron is also helpful in keeping vitamin D in your body. This is vitamin D3. At the time of release of this video, I would not have had the vitamin D video ready yet. Um, so stay tuned for that one if you're watching this recently um, or look for it if it's already been more than a few weeks since this video has been out. There's some important benefits to vitamin D that you need to know about because it might be something that you should be taking too. Now let's talk about the possible downsides or the, the side effects of problems of taking calcium, magnesium, and boron. Now, as with any other supplement, you should always consult with your doctor. None of this you should ever be hiding from your doctor. And if you feel like you need to hide this kind of stuff from your doctor, you really need to have a good long thought about what doctor you're seeing because you wanna have a doctor you can openly communicate about and one that's open to supplements like this because medications are not always the answer for everything and things like this may help you tremendously. It's a more natural option that isn't going to destroy your organs as fast. And it's a more healthy option that's much easier on your internal, internal organs than medications could be. So if you're pregnant or nursing, you absolutely need to talk to your doctor because you just need to make sure that baby is safe. And if you ever have any sort of side effects, like obvious side effects, reactions specifically, then you need to stop taking this right away and go find your doctor and let them know what happened. And I'm talking about like if you break out in hives, if you start to get a lot of stomach problems, if you have constipation, diarrhea, abnormal things that happen to you that aren't part of your normal routine, that could be a side effect of taking these. Now those are very rare, but I need to make sure that you're aware that they are a slight possibility. Now with calcium, taking 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams or more per day is considered a little too much by the medical community. The medical community will recommend anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams per day as being a normal dose for you. Now many people take things like Tums, which is an antacid if you've got stomach problems, and those have about 200 milligrams per tablet for the regular strength Tums. Now, unless you've got known kidney problems, um, like you've got kidney stones or other kidney conditions, 
then you would probably be okay taking more than that much calcium, but you should talk to your doctor and consult with them and make sure that it's safe for you. You also have to consider how much calcium you might be getting in your normal diet anyway before deciding to increase the, the amount of calcium that you're taking significantly. Now, these tablets come with a thousand milligrams of calcium and I'll talk to I'll talk more about how much to take here in a second but the serving size recommended on the bottle is 3 tablets a day which means you're taking 3000 milligrams a day which is the upper end of what the medical community is going to tell you that you should not be taking so you've got to communicate with your doctor and you've got to ramp it up gradually I, I wouldn't recommend starting with with 3 tablets right away I'll I'll talk more about that in just a moment now for magnesium, taking more than 350 to 400 milligrams a day is considered too much by the medical community. And I can tell you this formulation right here has 400 milligrams in one tablet. So you're looking at 1200 milligrams a day, which is considered to be a lot as well. Now this has some sodium in it as well. And then the boron here is at three milligrams. The medical community considers more than 20 milligrams a day as potentially harmful for you uh, when, when it comes to boron. So if you take three tablets and you're looking at nine milligrams, which is under that recommendation. So if you're taking the full recommended dose of this, like what it says on the label here, then you're potentially exceeding the amount that your doctor may tell you is normal for calcium and magnesium. And they'd say that the boron is probably just fine. Uh, so you just got to make sure you watch out for the kidney problems and any, any other side effects that you may have. And who knows, your doctor might say, hey, you know what, that much calcium is actually okay for you. You've got osteoporosis, that much, you need that calcium and magnesium. Your, your diet is lacking, so take this stuff because you're probably not getting enough of it in your normal everyday diet. Now let me give you my honest opinion about Solgar's Calcium Magnesium Plus Boron. Now first, let me just say something about Solgar. I love their products. They come in these glass amber bottles, which I think is the best way to store vitamins because this is the same type of glass that beer bottles are made from. And you know, beer is highly protected. They, they, they wanna make sure that it's not in a clear bottle. So I think that you should use very similar protection with vitamins and, and supplements like these. Um, they use glass rather than plastic. And of course this was all sealed, it was all shrink wrapped and I already took the, the, the seal that was on the top off here. It's got a little cotton thing in there so they don't shake around too much. And those are the tablets. They're, they're not terribly big. The fish oil ones are way bigger, but um, I, I love them. They, they purify everything. So it says down here, this is non-GMO, gluten, wheat, and dairy-free. So this is suitable for vegans. Um, so I, I think Solgar just goes the extra mile. I really like their products. Now, when it comes to the calcium and magnesium amounts, my honest physical therapist's opinion is, you know, I think doctors like physicians do a fantastic job at understanding medications. And I would trust their judgment for the most part on medication. Now, if I ever go to the doctor and they're recommending to me a medication, I'm going to defer to that doctor because that's just not my training. I'm not a specialist when it comes to medications. I'm a physical therapist, a manual physical therapist. Now, when it comes to supplements though, after talking to many physicians, they tend to not know a whole lot about it because they're thinking more medication-based. They're thinking more extreme situations. And when it comes to optimizing health rather than preventing terrible sicknesses like extreme severe sicknesses, they're trained to prevent the extreme terrible severe sicknesses not optimize your health with things like this. So I, I always take their advice with a grain of salt. I mean, I'm not ever trying to get into an argument with a physician by any means or, or downplay their knowledge. It's more so, okay, well, I'd like to hear what you have to say, but I'm gonna do my own research anyway, just to make sure this is safe for me. Now, if you decide that you want to start taking calcium, magnesium, and boron, um, like this formulation has from Solgar, um, then what I would highly recommend, just to play it safe and communicate well with your doctor, and I bet you're gonna educate your doctor too if you do this, is tell them, hey, I'm gonna do this because I have joint arthritis, I have all these problems with my body that I want these supplements to help me with, and what I want is your help, doctor. Can you take my blood labs, like, like do some blood work on me, and tell me where I stand right now, then I'm gonna start taking my supplements, I'll be back in two weeks, maybe even four weeks. I want you to analyze my blood again and tell me what my numbers are at. And I'm gonna go for a total of two, maybe even three months on this. And I wanna get updated 
blood work every so often, every two to four weeks to make sure that I'm safe, that my kidneys are okay, that my heart is okay, that, my, that the numbers are going in the right direction overall so that I can tell that this is helpful. I think that's the best thing to do because not many patients will do that with their doctors. And if your doctor recommends that, your doctor's ahead of the game and I would probably trust your doctor a lot more. But by and large in the healthcare community, at least here in the United States, doctors don't tend to do that because they're thinking about medications that pharmaceutical companies are pushing them to give their patients. And it's not supplements that pharmaceutical companies are putting out because these are considerably cheaper than uh, what the profit margins are on a lot of medications out there. And medications can be very helpful when used at the right time, but you know, in extreme situations, you want to have the right medication. But if you're looking at just optimizing your health, making sure that you're not going to run into a serious bad problem and you want to protect your overall health right now, then I'd be looking at taking something like this rather than some extreme medication that has a lot of side effects. It may really save your joints and make you feel tremendously better, but there's serious side effects associated with a lot of pharmaceutical company made medications. And it's a trade off that you have to consider. Now, when it comes to the research behind this stuff, there's proven research showing that calcium, magnesium, and boron work in certain ways inside the body, like I've already told you about, like as far as the muscle function, bone health, nerve function, blood pressure, glucose control, all those things, it does affect them. But specific research studies on joint arthritis and improving it and reversing arthritis uh, those studies are, are not super solid. They're shaky. In other words, there isn't enough research to validate that this stuff alone helps joint problems 100% consistently. But that doesn't mean that it's not helpful for you. And, and many in the medical community will use that information back at you and say, well, just, there's no research on it, so we, we're not going to do it. But I disagree with that completely. Just because there's no research on it doesn't mean that it's not beneficial. It just hasn't been looked at thoroughly. And even then, these supplements alone, I don't think are going to make a, the, an enormous difference in something like joint health, like, your, like if you have arth osteoarthritis. This needs to be used in combination with the rest of your diet, exercises, there's other factors. It, treating osteoarthritis, like if we talk about hip or knee osteoarthritis, it is a process to fix that problem over time. And if it's too far gone, you might actually need surgery. But if it's salvageable, which most cases are, then you wanna take every factor into consideration to make your body the healthiest to improve out of that arthritic situation. And taking a supplement like calcium, magnesium, and boron could give you the edge in making your program move a little bit faster and be a little bit more successful. I hear doctors sometimes say, uh, well, you know, if you take too much of this, your kidney filters it out and then you pee it out and so you're just peeing away vitamins. I'm from the camp of, I'd rather be peeing out vitamins knowing that my body's capacity for magnesium and calcium and boron and any other vitamins I take is to the max so that my joints are absolutely healthy rather than saying, well, I'm not gonna take it because my doctor said I'm gonna pee it out and only having you know, 50% of what I could have in my body or 70% or even 90% of what I could have in my body, I need to cap it out to make sure that I'm as healthy as I can be so I can live for years and decades to come with quality of life. So how do you use this supplement? The bottle here says to take three tablets per day, which would put you at 3000 milligrams of calcium at 1200 milligrams of magnesium and nine milligrams of boron. Um, I would work up to that and I really strongly encourage you to go to your doctor and get some blood work done before you start taking this and then do some follow-up blood work every, at least every month, if not every two weeks, especially if you have kidney problems or, or uh, blood sugar problems like diabetes, you need to make sure you talk with your doctor thoroughly. Now there's 250 tablets in here. So if you're taking three a day as the bottle recommends, this should last you over two months. But I would recommend starting out with one a day, ramp, ramping up like that, you know, see how your blood work goes, then bump it up to two a day, see how your blood work goes, bump it up to three a day, and then check with your blood work again to make sure that this is beneficial for you. And if there's no harm done in your blood work and overall you're feeling better, after about two months, I think you can certainly say that this is helpful for you or not if you're not feeling better. As with any supplement, as with any diet, Everybody's body reacts differently to this depending on how you metabolize it. Your genetics 
might take calcium, magnesium, and boron differently than somebody else. So it could be that somebody who's using this has a huge benefit, and then somebody else who's using this who's almost identical except for their genetics are not benefiting from it. But you have to determine that. You have to give it a shot to make sure that you can cross this off the list or check mark it as something that's gonna be part of your habit to keep you healthy for the long term. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post each and every week. Our channel here focuses on helping people stay healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding unnecessary surgery, injections, and medications. And we make helpful videos with tips, advice, exercises and stretches for a variety of body conditions. You can check them out on our playlist tab. In fact, I've got a link down in the description below here to that playlist tab. And there's also a link for the supplement if you wanna get it from Amazon. I got this off Amazon, super easy to get, very affordable. Um, so go check that out if you like as well and be helping out our channel. Thanks so much and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.